Uh, so without further ado, let me bring up uh, the, the driving force behind the MSBA, uh, somebody that I always call the smartest person in state government, with all due respect to all my colleagues in state government here, <laughs> uh, Catherine Craven. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I know he's referring to my smarts only because I saw the wisdom of rebuilding Methuen High School. So. <laughs> um, but again, I'm so pleased to be here. Um, Rep. Linda Dean Campbell said to me, geez, it's been a few weeks since you've been in Methuen, <laughs> and it feels like a long time. Um, but we love coming up here because this is one of the first projects that we embraced as an authority um, when we were created back in 2004 by an act of the legislature. So your legislators did two things for Methuen. Number one was create the authority so that we have a penny on your sales tax that guarantees that we have some sort of a school building program going forward. And for that, your legislators deserve a lot of credit. Representative Latalian, Representative Dean Campbell, and Senator Bedore all were part of leading the charge to make sure that there was a program basically going forward because this program had gone bankrupt in the past. Um, so again, while we were while we we're trying to recreate a program that we found ourselves several billions of dollars in debt in figuring out how to sort of shovel out from under that, along comes Senator Bedore and Mayor Manzi. They talked to us about a pro project that um, seems to have no end, which is a potential new Methuen High School. And given the zeitgeist of the folks in this, under this tent in, in Methuen that supported the mayor's vision to get through a vote that would renovate this building, not create an overly ornate, or it would give everybody in this, in this community exactly what you need, preserve the hockey rink, and fix a building that in 1975 won many awards. I have, and I always send this out to the folks um, in the architecture community as a reminder, that this building was an award-winning building back in 1975 for its futuristic vision. And I think Senator Bedore can quote this later on, but the first words that former Senate President Bob Travellini had when he walked through the building were an uh, expletive. Like, how can anyone ever learn in this place? Um, we did a need survey, as Treasurer Grossman pointed out, back in 2005, and Methuen High School scored very, um, very high marks for your maintenance of your building, your building envelope, with the exception of the fact that nobody can really learn effectively when there are no walls between the classrooms. So the MSBA has taken the model of what went wrong in the past and moved forward trying to avoid the fads, architectural fads, that got you to where we are today, which is a $99 million project that saves a lot of money. 2,000 kids to build this brand new would have cost over $150 million. And we're here to talk about a $99 million project that is going to be just as, bit, as good, every bit as good as a new building, preserving your hockey rink and preserving the beautiful space around this building that everyone's so proud of. Um, I wanted to mention, too, that the progress payments, Mayor Manzi also said to me, how can we have to wait 10 to 15 years for our first payment from the state? So we thought that was an imperative that we change that whole culture of having districts wait forever for your first payment from the state. So I'm also pleased to tell you that given um, given that we've received um, $6 million of requests from the city so far, we've already paid to Methuen taxpayers $3.7 million. And those are payments that would have been indefinitely put off 10 to 12 years for your first payment under the old program. And I know Treasurer Grossman has mentioned the science labs and the arts, but we're so proud to have been part of something that improves what was two science labs for 2,000 kids into something that is much more workable as for you to be able to compete, really, and for the kids in Methuen to be able to compete on a nationwide level with other students in different high schools that don't have to suffer with cuddling up to the front of the room in order to hear what the science teacher is saying. Um, I also mentioned that Senator Bedore gave me my first tour with Mayor Manzi of, of Methuen High School, where I, I learned a lot about why Senator Bedore talks to me the way he does about Methuen High School, <laughs> having gone through the tour with him. But I would also like to point out that Representative Linda Dean Campbell and former Representative Barbara Italian <coughs> were also always there with Councilor Zanny and others in our office, making sure that we prioritize this project, which is a con convoluted project. I mean, it's a building that is in good shape. I had other places like Southbridge High School where the library had decided to break away from the building and creep down the side of a hill. You don't have a structural problem, you have an educational problem. And as I mentioned before, we learned from the mistakes of the past. So going forward, we did our most recent needs survey. We added to our most recent needs survey an educational component to try and figure out what the learning environment is like for the students and teachers in that building. And finally, I'd like to thank Mayor Manzi, without whose frequent text messages. I, maybe mm -hmm. Senator Bedore might have sent me more. But you're right up there with, with um, 
the best of the texters in the middle of the night trying to figure out exactly if we were going to get this project moving, when we were going to get it moving, and how we got it moving. I give a lot of credit to Mayor Manzi for having the vision and the um, ability to get this project funded locally for your share, which is not insignificant, and also having the educational vision for the perpetuity. As, I, as, as you mentioned, Senator Bedore may be a ranger, but I noticed that there's a lot of central class with class of 1974 around this tent as yeah. well. <laughs> so it's not lost on me that you've really shown leadership and education in Methuen, and I'm very pleased to have been your partner through these past couple of years to get to where we are today. Thank you very much.